It's Tuesday. It's November 10th. Hey there, I'm meteorologist Ashton Altieri. Officially just a trace of snow in Denver yesterday. Other areas saw between one to three inches in Metro Denver, a little bit more up in the foothills, but nobody in the state seems to have seen more snow than Wolf Creek Pass and the Wolf Creek Ski Area down there to the east of Pagosa Springs. 34 inches of snow nearly three feet. A basin they quietly opened for the season yesterday, kind of a surprise, seven inches. Keystone, five inches. We now have three ski areas in Colorado open with plenty more opening in the next few weeks. All right, so you see some snow still in the eastern plains wrapping up here early in the day today. We're done with snow in Denver. We'll be clear today. Lots of sunshine, but we do stay chilly. Storm responsible for the snow is right over Fort Morgan here early in the day on Tuesday. It's going to race toward the Great Lakes region over the next 24 hours. The next storm is going to stay well to the north of us, but it does help to keep us chilly the next few days. Next storm that will impact our state will be here in Northern California by late in the day on Thursday. And then this thing is going to uh, dive to the east. And as it does, we'll see significant mountain snow again. It looks like from Friday night through Saturday night, probably about the same as this last storm, maybe a little bit more in some areas. A lot of wind, though. It's going to be causing a lot of blowing and drifting. I doubt we'll have much of any impact down here in the metro area. Certainly less snow than the last storm. 40s uh, for highs today. 40s again tomorrow for Veterans Day and 40s on Thursday. Then we climb up to 54 on Friday. That's closer to normal. 59 on Saturday. The only thing that storm could maybe bring Denver is a few flurries Saturday morning. Sunday looks good. A little breezy at times with that storm overhead. And then Monday, 61 and perhaps back into the super 70s again a week from today.